Hey guys, it's me again, Flo. This oilless tomato stew that we're going to prepare today is not your average Nigerian tomato stew. In this one, there is no fry fry yet. It is very tasty, I promise you. It's for those who want to drastically reduce the amount of oil in what they eat. If that's you or you know someone who would benefit from this recipe, let's go. These are the ingredients you will need. You can see that there's a lot of seasoning going into this stew. The original seasoning, yellow maca. <laughs> I will explain later. Prep the ingredients by washing all of them. Dice and slice the onions like these. You'll see how I add them later. Peel and dice the ginger. Remove the seeds from the tomatoes and peppers. Unless your blender can blend them. Tomato and pepper seeds are unsightly in stews. But maybe that's just me. Grind the spices and herbs with a spice grinder. Cumin, thyme, black pepper, onion powder. As I mentioned earlier, you need a lot of seasoning for this stew. When preparing the usual Nigerian tomato stew, we fry the tomato puree in oil till it is almost sweet. But since there's no frying involved in this oilless tomato stew, you will need as much seasoning as possible to make this stew taste great. I am using mostly natural spices and herbs. Cook the chicken with the seasoning cubes, mixed herbs and diced onions. If you want this oilless tomato stew to be tasty, you should use hard chicken, that's hen, because it is much tastier than cockerel. This stew needs all the help it can get, so use the tastiest ingredients. While that is cooking, extract the ginger juice. and use that to blend the tomatoes, peppers and some of the onions. Pour that into a pot and start cooking on high heat. When the chicken is done, separate the chicken from the stock. Because I use the pressure pot to cook the chicken, there's a lot of chicken stock in there. I leave it to continue to boil to reduce the quantity else the stew may be watery. Grill or broil the chicken in the oven. For normal Nigerian tomato stew, you can also deep fry the chicken but since we are trying to cut down on oil in this oilless tomato stew, that's not an option. By now, all the water in the tomato puree must have dried up and if you taste it, you will notice that it slaps. Frying usually removes the tangy taste, but since there is no frying in this one, baking soda to the rescue. Have you seen my experiment with using baking soda to remove the tangy taste of tomatoes? Baking soda magically removes the tangy taste of tomatoes. Add it bit by bit, else it ruins the stew. So add a little bit, stir, taste it, and add another one if necessary. You will notice that the sour taste of the tomatoes is gone as soon as you add the correct quantity of baking soda and stir. Set that aside. Dry fry the last batch of onions for about 3 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
add the chicken stock Nigerian curry powder boiled tomato puree and if necessary some water to bring it to the consistency you like for your stews Add salt, cover and leave it to simmer for about 7 minutes. Stir it often so it does not burn. After 7 minutes, add the grilled chicken. Stir, cover and once it boils again, it's done. It's quite tasty and you will hardly notice that the tomato puree in this stew was not fried in oil. That's it! And here are some awesome discussions from my banana leaves adventure video. Yasmin shared how it is her job to prepare these banana leaves for pasteles that they have at Christmas. She uses a microwave oven to whale them. Green World asked if we could use boiling water to whale the banana leaves. I think that's a great idea because really what you need is heat and Uchana got confirmed that it works. I and Chibuike had a deep discussion on how preparing banana leaves and supplying them to African, Asian and South American food shops can be a big business. I say that because I receive lots of questions from those outside Nigeria on where to get Oma leaves or banana leaves. There's a business opportunity right there. So please go check out that video and the conversation that I'm talking about. Bye bye. See you soon.